know what it is, Chairman, to stay in a, in a lecture hall for four years, Chairman. These people, having graduated from different institutions of higher learning, Chairman, the only amount of money that a JSS teacher is being paid is 17,000 Kenya shillings. This is a person who is qualified. Atam to anendam jengo chairman and 600 shillings per day. For 30 days, that is 18,000 Kenya shillings. Now, we are mtu wa mkono, anafanya kazi ya kukuleta mawe. What about a person who is fully trained? Just one, that amount of money. Therefore, I'm in support of the junior secondary school teachers to be paid not less than 46,000 Kenya shillings in hardship areas and 38,000 Kenya shillings in other areas. In addition to that, Chairman, there's a problem because there's discrimination. Where 46,000 teachers should be employed, the JSS teachers, while we are only going for 26,000, on what, what criteria will we use to know the 26,000? This amounts to discrimination, which is not in the spirit of the Kenyan constitution. Now, we have, Chairman, the issue of uh, in promotion of human capital, matter skill, and literally nothing can happen in this country if there is no skills, Chairman, in every field, in every area. And when we look at the capitation, which is always and constantly being delayed in our universities, Chairman, it's very unfair for our children to suffer because the money for capitation has not been released. Yet most of the time, we budget for this money. So therefore, Chairman, we also need to talk to the executive that once we budget for this money, then they need to be promptly released. You, you know the imp importance of education, Chairman Dindinyore. You know very well. It is education that has made you be where you are. And you love education. And even now, you are doing two masters at a go. Chairman, you know what this means. Therefore, money should be released to these comrades as soon as possible. On the TVETs, Chairman, every year we budget for these TVETs in this same committee. But Chairman, you've chosen to not give attention to Nairobi as a county. We have a problem in Nairobi. We don't have enough TVETs. And among the 16 that you've already mentioned here, each is going to get 57 million 500,000 Kenya shillings. You need to consider Nairobi so that at least Nairobians can have an institution where they can further their education for those who are not successful in joining the universities and other colleges.